Yeah. Well, yes, in Focus, we are having graphite electrode manufacturer HEG, and now there's a CapEx plans being announced. So they have incorporated a wholly owned subsidiary track, and this would be actually used to manufacture anode. A graphite anode for the lithium ion cell batteries and also for research as well. Now, overall, if you see the CapEx plan, this is spread across five to seven years with a combined expansion of almost 22 megawatts of energy in the cell manufacturing space and they will be putting in almost 2000 crore rupees in two phases itself now we're looking at why this graphite is a very important component in a lithium ion battery as it is having the highest number of contribution in terms of weightage if you take a thousand pounds of electric car battery almost 190 pounds comes from graphite so it is one of the most biggest use products for the cell manufacturing apart from this even the graphite electrode prices have risen up from their september lows it's up almost 11 percent and this is a significance that there might be a upturn in this metal space now apart from this there are important key triggers ahead and of course the first one i would like to point out is the domestic trigger this is the indian government's pli scheme they are focusing on mandating 60 percent domestic value addition for the cell production and internationally also if we see the biggest component of course in this lithium ion battery comes is graphite and china reopening on an overall basis means there is a demand coming in for the metal space even graphtech uh, came out with which is the world's largest producer of graphite electrodes they came out with a very positive commentary in the recently held earnings call and the u.s steel market also if you see in focus has been more resilient and it is evident from higher utilization levels but there are key risks involved as well firstly would be of course the risk of covid scare in china because that's the biggest market for the metals and the cycles you know how it moves and apart from this the second thing would be the volatility in the prices